question, what specific immigration legislation will you support to meet the workforce needs of employers, including farmers, while maintaining the integrity of the nation's security? You have two minutes. Well, again, this is an issue where I think Congress has done nothing, and Congress really needs to be held accountable for doing nothing, and it is a tragedy. The rule of law is where I start with solving the problem of immigration. If the law doesn't work, don't simply ignore it. Either enforce it or change it. And Congress has not done that. And again, that's been on both sides. No, neither party can be blamed for that. Both parties must be blamed for that. We need to follow the rule of law. So how do we do that? First, I will support, strongly support, role, uh, a, a, a enforcement of our borders, protecting our shores, our borders, and our ports. We need to know who is coming in. For those 40% of illegal immigrants who are here on expired visas who came in here legally, we need to be able to follow them. So we not only need to secure our ports and our borders, but we need to be able to follow to know if persons are overextending their stays, their permitted stays in the United States. We have 7.2 to 11 or 11.5 million unauthorized workers in this country at this time. For those who are already here, if they're violating the law, that is, if they're committing crimes, they must be deported. They should be prosecuted and deported. If what they're doing is failing to pay taxes, then they should be prosecuted and deported. And their employers who are failing to withhold taxes are also committing crimes, and they should be prosecuted. And I also think we need to take into account that after all of these years of no Congress not attending this problem, we have issues that must be addressed with the rest of those persons who have not violated the laws after getting here and are now integrated in the community and contributing to the economy. We have to apply common sense. I oppose amnesty. I, I would require all of the immigrants, if they are going to be entitled to stay here, any of them, to learn English, to have employment, and to be responsible members of the community. And beyond that, I don't think one size fits all. I cannot support the idea that we deport everyone. That is impractical. Ms. Ruger has asked, I uh, re-asked the question. The question is, what specific immigration legislation will you support to meet the workforce needs of employers, including farmers, while maintaining the integrity of the nation's security? Principles of state. Principles here at the state is protecting America enhancing high standards and the rule of law. America is a republic. We are not a democracy. We're a nation of laws. We respect for the rule of law. It's what government demands of its citizens. And it's only proper that the citizens then demand for government to enforce the law and exercise justice. I am at odds with President Bush on these issues of illegal immigration. And I'm also at odds with the Democratic leadership in Congress, Speaker Pelosi in particular. With regard to uh, the issues, failure to enforce the lapse of legal entry through our ports of entry into this country and our poorest borders are a threat to our country. It depreciates our national security. There's burdens upon our state, or actually upon our national, our state, and our local treasuries by pressure upon our social services, health care, education, increased criminal activity, gang violence, and illegal drugs. I have supported creation and the building of defense. I also support English as an official language. I am also against blanket amnesty. I am a co-sponsor of Keith Schuler, who's a Democrat from North Carolina. His bill, uh, what it does is it has an e-verify system for employers. We also increased Border Patrol agents by over 8,000, plus over 1,150 uh, ICE agents, and over 400 uh, criminal alien program officers and state and local enforcement support officers. I also believe that we should strengthen the alien smuggling penalties, expedite the removal of illegal aliens, and increase the detention facilities, and increase more border infrastructure and aerial surveillance. I also believe all states should adopt the law that we did here in Indiana that requires a photo, photo ID to vote. I would also note that 1.3 million illegal aliens have left this country in the last year. And the reason they left is because the compromise in this Senate failed and they saw no pathway to citizenship. Mr. Booger.